Recent weeks have seen some pretty powerful eruptions from the sun, but one that happened a couple of days ago was especially powerful. An enormous amount of material was ejected from the far side of the sun on March 12. An expanding halo of solar debris, it raced away from the sun at 2,127 kilometers, 1,321 miles per second, an exceptionally high speed for a solar disk. The sun shoots out flares and coronal mass ejections all the time, but this was special. A far side eruption usually does not hit Earth since it is facing the opposite direction. However, this one was so intense that satellites orbiting our planet picked up particles accelerated by the shockwave that reached our corner of space because of the eruption's intensity. As it seems, the sun has been up to some shenanigans lately. Sun's activity peaks and declines in roughly 11-year cycles. The sun's magnetic field reverses polarity every 11 years, causing these cycles. Large numbers of sunspots appear during this period. There are temporary patches of stronger magnetic fields on the sun. Currently, there are about 100 sunspots on the sun, some of which are clustered into sunspot regions. It is possible for sunspot regions to last for a long time, flaring repeatedly, before quickly disappearing as the sun rotates. Fortunately, the Parker Solar Probe was directly in the path of the CME. Having sent signals back to Earth, Parker engineers are now waiting for the next download of Parker's data to read the flare measurements. If we learn more about what the sun does when it isn't visible to us, we will be able to better understand our solar system.